Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we are about to create an MQL expert advisor that uses Martingale and trades the breakouts. First, I'm about to discuss the include file that we are using and the functions that we are using, and then we will write the actual code. Let's get started. So first, we will discuss the expert functions.mqh file. First of all, here's the profits function. This function returns the profits of opened positions, so trades that are currently running, with a given magic number at a and a symbol. Then there is a close all orders function. Again, the input parameters are a symbol, which is a string, which is a string, and a magic number. And this closes all orders and every trade that is currently running on this account. Then there is the calc lot with take profit. This function calculates the position size of a trade with a given start price and an end price and a take profit parameter which is in monetary amount. So this is the amount that we want to make on this trade. Of course, when the start price is less than the end price, this is going to be a buy trade, otherwise it's a sell trade. And it returns the volume needed for this trade with this start price and end price to make this amount of money. This will be needed with uh, the Martingale functionality of the expert advisor that we are writing today. Then here are the functions that uh, will return our entry signals. So there is a bull breakout and a bear breakout and an abnormal candle. This function returns true when there is an abnormally large candle which is bigger than the average change of the last 10 bars. So the high minus the low is bigger than the average change of the last 10 bars. Then it returns true, otherwise it's returning false. And whenever this happens, whenever there is an abnormal candle and uh, the close is above the open, there are other criteria like the close minus open has to be bigger than the half of the high minus the low. So it cannot be an abnormal candle, which is just a huge up and down, but the difference between the close and the open is not that big. Then we are returning true, otherwise we are returning false. For the bear breakout, it's the complete opposite. Here is the lot size function. This is a pretty important function. This returns the size of a lot in the current deposit currency. So for example, if we are having US dollars and we are trading Euro USD, it calculates the amount of dollars needed to open a lot on this current account. So we take the leverage into account, for example. Then there is the check volume value. This returns true when the volume is acceptable for a trade. If it's not a valid volume, it returns false. Then there is the round function. This function just is, is same as the math round. Basically, there is the round, round down and the round to lots. Round to lots function rounds the current uh, value to a valid uh, volume that can be used for a trade. There is a bull is new candle function. This will be used in the ontic function so that whenever we are searching for an entry, we don't do it on each tick, but only when there is a new candle. Then there is a total open orders function. This returns the number of total trades open. And there is a boolean which is which returns true when the market is open and returns false when the market is closed. These are all the functions that we are going to use today for our expert advisor. First up, we are going to create a new file. It will be called Martin Gray Breakout. We have to include the expert functions.mqh file we just wrote. Then we have to think about the input parameters. First of all, we need a take profit in points input parameter. This will be the take profit level. Whenever there is a buy trade, we will be these points above the ask. And whenever there is a sell trade, we will be these points below the bid. Then we also need the percentage of the balance available for the uh, expert advisor. Then we have to have a take profit percentage of the balance. 
So for example, if there is $10,000 and 0.1 is the take profit, $10 will be the take profit of our strategy. Then there is the stop loss percentage of the balance. This has to be greater than the take profit percentage of the balance whenever we are doing a Martingale type of expert advisor. We have to have an input of a starting the re recovery. This time, for example, if it's 0.1, this means that whenever the 0.1 times the stop loss is hit, we are out of the first trade and we start the recovery with the second. Then there is the take profit points multiplier, which is the multiplier between the take profit of the first trade and the take profit of the second trade. This is useful because the size of the second trade doesn't have to be that much greater if this if we increase the take profit of the second trade. And last but not least, there is the magic number input parameter. Now what we have to do is we have to create a trading uh, member of the C trade class so we can trade actually in the expert advisor. We have to set the magic number. The trade.mqh file is in the expert functions uh, that mqh include file we also set the deviation points then on the ontic function is where the magic happens we have to have a static double stop loss variable this will be the variable that stores the actual stop loss level of our currently running strategy at first it, this is the stop loss percentage of the balance times the start the recovery times the account balance then there is a take profit, which is the same, but we don't use the start the recovery. Then there are the current profit, which will be the profits currently of this uh, EA with this magic number and this symbol. Whenever the current profit is less than the stop loss, so it exceeded the stop loss or greater than the take profit, then we are about to close out the trades. If it is less than the stop loss, but the stop loss is the first stop loss, so it is less than the stop loss percentage times the account balance, then we want to close all orders and we want to increase the current profit. So we are going to make a recovery trade next. The stop loss will be now the stop loss percentage times the account balance. And we return if this criteria is not, are not true we just simply close all the orders the take profit is the take profit percentage times the account balance and the stop loss is the stop loss per percentage times the recovery times the account balance again as initialized Whenever there is no, no new candle or we have open trades or the market is not open, we want to return because now we want to see what the entry criteria are. So we want to have the ask and the bid value, first of all. Then whenever there is a bull breakout, it means we have a buy signal. If there is a buy signal, we want to have a volume which will be round to lots. First of all, we want to have a valid lot, valid volume value. Call, we want to use the calc lot with take profit function. With the take profit and the ask and the ask plus the take profit points times point. But if we have a take profit multiplier, we want to know whether we are recovering or not. If we are recovering, then we want to set the recovering static bool to true as it is false. And if we are recovering, then we are going to also multiply with the TP points multiplier input as the volume will be the same as before. And now we want to see whether it is below the, uh, the available balance so we can take this trade. I actually want to 
change the account info double to balance because I see that I use this variable a lot. Times uh, balance percentage available time divided by 100 because it's a percentage and if it if the check volume is true then we want to buy so that is basically the bull breakout now we have to change these parameters to the bear breakout we want to change the s to the bid we want to say that bid minus the take profit and we want to sell compile it is not good because we need another we added an extra colon. So now that we have the working file, we can actually test this expert advisor on the, in the strategist tester of the MT5. Here we have to select Martingale breakout. Here you see the inputs. You can just run the strategy. As you can see, these parameters are losing, but I tried out some parameters and whenever we use the start recovery at 0 0.2 then it is actually quite a great strategy for the past one year here you can see how the martingale works it loses and it recovers it loses and it recovers but it barely loses any time so that's how easy it was to create a martingale expert advisor this expert advisor had a 10% return in the last year, which is not bad. Hedge fund managers do that. I know that the retail market is promising like 10% each day, but we will have to be satisfied with these results. If you want to create your own grid or recovery strategy, check out the Advantage GEA. Now that's it for today's video, thank you for watching, if you have enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below. Have a great day.